Hey everyone, welcome to the Mind of Real page. <clears throat> I'm just going to give some information about Olo Kun. Um, he is actually the Orisha of the Deep Sea. I've been told that a lot of people like my blogs about the Netaru and the Orishas. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been sharing a whole lot of information on how to speak to the Netaru and how to speak to Orishas. They are deities, so... I've been told that I need to share some more. So this is my first video on how to contact one of the... No, this is my second video. I think I made a video not too long ago about how to contact Eshu. So this is my second video. This video is going to be about Olokun. Olokun could be a he or a she. Um, I'm not going to go into a, a big history lesson on exactly his story. I'm just going to give you some main information about who Olokun is, what kind of food you could offer to de this deity and what kind of things you could ask this deity for. So Olokun is the Orisha of the deep sea. He could also be associated with the immortal waters and your deep and darkest subconscious within yourself. So Orishas not only work within ourselves, but they also work out in the universe as well. So he's actually associated with the number seven or nine, depending on which background it is. He's associated with the colors dark blue, white, or green. And he likes fruits and he likes sweets. So he likes water because he is associated with the water. So he likes water. Molasses, melon, as you know, so I see you... I'm sure you guys see some shells over here. Anything that has to do with water. So if you go to the ocean, you collect rocks, shells, anything that you find in the ocean, like sand and things like that, would be great things to leave at his altar. And also, pine wood shavings. Um, so what I did is I cut his apple, because he likes fruit, into seven pieces, because he's associated with the number seven. And I actually put both molasses on it and honey, because he loves sweetness. And then what I did is I have a... Um, table here covered with a white cloth and I put the apples cut in seven pieces with the molasses and honey over it within it is a dark blue bowl because that's one of its colors and I lit a blue candle and then as you can see I have water and I have shells around him so this is a good um, I'm just going to tell you what you could do to kind of greet um, Olokun here's a good phrase and I'm going to say it slow that way you could replay it or you could write it down if you need to so when you feed Olokun, what you would do is give him the food and then, or her the food and light the candle. And here's something you could say to him in the beginning when you first give him offers. I praise the spirit of the vast and mighty ocean. I praise the spirit of the ocean who is beyond understanding. Spirit of the ocean, I will worship you as long as there is water in the sea. If there is peace in the ocean, there is no crossing. Oh, no, that's it. Sorry. The, I'm looking at a piece of paper. But so this is something that I learned when I talked to him is that this is one lesson. I actually just got finished speaking, speaking to him. And he actually brought tears to my eyes because he brought something that was in my subconscious out. So the reason why you would want to speak to Olo Kun is because he helps you with your subconscious thoughts. So if there's anything that you need to be brought out, something that you haven't noticed, this is the being you want to talk to and, at, and ask what is deep within your, yourself that you're not aware of that you need to know. And this is why you would summon Olo Kun. And what you would do is basically put yourself into a med meditative state as you would give him the offers, say the greeting that I just stated. And then you would sit in front of the altar and you could do a breathing exercise, something I would recommend that's pretty simple is because he's associated with the number seven, then you could breathe in seven to the count of seven, then hold to the count of seven, then breathe out to the count of seven, and then hold out to the count of seven. Or you could just breathe in to the count of seven, and then out your mouth to the count of seven, whichever one you want to do. And then you could actually say his name, Olokun, seven times, and then sit in silence. Ask him what you want. Like for me, I asked... Can you help you know me understand anything that's in my subconscious mind that you feel needs to be needs to be brought out? And then you would ask a question like that, and then you would basically just sit with your silence and wait to hear what kind of answers is being brought to you. My recommendation is do not try to create the answer. You want to keep your mind as quiet as you can so you know the answers is coming from him and not from you trying to make something up. Something that I've learned when I meditated on him is actually that there is no crossing the immortal waters with fear. 
So this is why we need to work with Olokun because he helps you with your fear and the thing that we the things that we avoid the most within ourselves, what we are in denial of. So he will help you with that. And this is some deep, this is some crazy deep things that he actually taught me. Today I'm gonna I'll open up and let you guys know just because I know a lot of you guys follow me. And I think the more personal I am, the more you guys could relate to me. But he told me that the reason why I connect with the Netaru and the Orisha so much because I look for parents. Because I know there's a lot of people out there like myself who feel like they didn't get the love that they really needed and they deserved as a child. Therefore, they reach somewhere else to try to make up for what they lacked as a child. So when I spoke to Olokun, he explained to me that the reason why I connect so much with the Orishas is because I'm looking for that parental um, guidance that I didn't have as a child. My mother was abusive. My father wasn't there. So this is something that he ex that he exposed to me today. It made me a little emotional. But this is what Olokun does. He'll help ex um, realize some things within yourself that you aren't realizing that actually the things that we are in denial of are actually things that control us. So it's really good to speak to Olokun about those subjects and to remember that um, what you fear will keep you from crossing the immortal waters, which means you cannot ascend and be a better person. You cannot have any high vibes if you have too much fear within yourself. And a lot of our fears are subconscious. So another thing he explained to me too, this is a personal thing. I'm not saying he would say this to you, I'm just saying personally for me, he told me that the reason why I feel a lot of connection or why I have this kind of, not really obsession, but curiosity with beings that have to do with gay day spirit or loa spirit who tend to be a little more scary to to the random person is because that is me learning to face my own fears and learning to turn fears into strengths so this is a good lesson that you will learn from alokun um i have a lot more other videos like this i'm going to make if you would like, you can subscribe to my YouTube my YouTube channel, and I will actually leave a comment under this post with my link if you like this kind of information. If you have any other or any questions in regards to Alokun, or if you have any questions about contacting any other deities that are Orishas or Netaru, and maybe I haven't shared it yet, and you want me to share it, go ahead and tell me, hey, can you share this information? I'll make a video. And or if you have any questions about any Netaru or Orishas that I've already shared already. Go ahead and just hit me up. I am open to questions. And um, I hope this helped you guys a little bit. Look out for more videos. Next week, I think I'm going to be making a video about Ma'at. He, she is a Netaru. So look out for that video. Everybody have a good night. Namaste. Hotep. And Alafia.